remaining number? Yes, or no? Roll call, please. Bill? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. John? Yes. John? Yes. And Don? Ed? Ed. Yeah. 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 Yeah
point out to you uh, a drawing and a table that is in your packet of information. Uh, this will be a uh, approval with comment. Uh, December meeting will be bringing back the entire final document for approval. Uh, the comment that I would like to make initially is that uh, uh, the environmental for, for runway 119, that has been funded under the AIP 07 project, so that should be stricken from the CIP. Everything else is shifting in one year from what shows in 2010 becomes 2011 and on forward to 2016. Those are the only uh, changes that I have as recommendations to present to you. Uh, if any other comments or recommendations that you would like to see, then I'd be more than happy to entertain those. Uh, Don, is there, I mean, is there any way to move this any faster than, I mean, it's, for example, I mean, we're looking at constructor runway 119 or in the year 2015, I mean, that's, can that be moved up any, or is, he, is that pretty much just as it's laid out here? Uh, no. The CIP is something that's uh, it's a, a document for planning purposes. If the funds are, if there's more funds available, we're more happy to uh, add additional money to the project. Any year that you have is really truly no guarantee that you receive funds except for the hundred fifty thousand dollars that you have as non permanent diamond. The rest of it you uh, may be here, they're anticipating it be here. And it also depends on Congress passing budget bills. And right now we're under continuing resolution. So if I'm talking about the, the national budget, I'm not talking about the local budget. Right. But uh, the and all that said, it can be moved up. As long as it's on the CIP, it's the critical issue. And it's, if it's within the, within the five year plan and they find additional funds to be able to cover, right now we anticipate about $700,000 next year, whatever. And we're reviewing this every year, right? This, this is something that gets reviewed every year, right? Yes. So, I mean, this can all change as we, as we move along. I mean, it's, if something becomes available. That's correct. That it can change. Uh, if there's something that's left off the CIP, that's tougher to insert it back in because usually the FA and the state get together and they have a three to five year plan. And if something switches and moves around, that it's tougher to add something in to the CIP. So it's more important to make sure that everything's covered. Uh, than it is the specific year within the five-year CIP. There may well be the FA and state when they meet. Uh, they may even change something that you have shown in your CIP, move one a project up that they feel is more important to them as a priority to do than what you felt initially. And so what will happen then is the FA and state will get back to you and let you know the change and ask if that is appropriate to make those corrections. Okay. Don, can you clarify again why that first item was stricken the environmental for the one one one? It is already funded. Uh, the, the environmental process that you're going through right now was uh, funded under uh, the most recent uh, grant. And so this is talking about, it's ongoing, of course. This is, these CIP items are the ones that have not been funded at all. Can this be approved tonight? It can be approved tonight. It, will, it, it would need to be approved with comment because Obviously, it's not the kind of document that's got red lines. So, so, and then, then it would be a matter of technology that I'd make the corrections according to the way the red lines show 